The laboratory is the cornerstone of healthcare, guiding and informing patient care. This Medical Laboratory Professionals Week, we'd like to thank the men and women in the laboratory for their continued dedication to putting patients first. And we honor their commitment to helping patients one test at a time. Thankful for their unwavering commitment to patients and patient health today, tomorrow, and into the future. Hello everyone, welcome to the lab. My name is Patience, I am a medical laboratory scientist and we are celebrating Lab Week. Happy Lab Week to you, happy Lab Week to all the scientists in the world. We appreciate you for all that you do. Thank you. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe, hit on the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. We normally celebrate Lab Week every year, but this year we couldn't do much because of the current crisis. Part of it is the inspiration behind this video. I'm going to be taking you guys around the lab. We have different departments in the lab, and in each department, my supervisor is going to give you guys some spotlight on what we do in the lab. If you are undecisive about a career path, I highly recommend this field because it's highly rewarding, it's marketable, you can get a job anywhere in the world. Medical laboratory science field is not well known. Most of you probably have not heard about it. You've heard about the nurses, the doctors, the pharmacists, the dentists, but we are the unsung heroes. The very first department you're gonna learn about in this video is called the microbiology department. And just to let you know, you're not gonna watch all the department in this particular video because I don't want the video to be long and you end up not watching to the end and you're gonna miss the vital information. So I'm gonna post the video in part it's gonna be four videos in total. So that is to say that you have to come back to watch all the departments. Without further ado, let's move to microbiology. Hi, my name is Tracy Milton and I've been working in microbiology lab for close to 30 years. And microbiology is very exciting because every day is something different. You don't know what is going to grow on the plates. Uh, pretty much, um, if a doctor wants to collect a wound specimen, they have a sterile swab. They collect that swab on the wound. They plate it onto the auger media. We incubate the auger into the incubator overnight. And then the next day, we look at the plates and see what's growing. So in a common wound scenario, you may have someone who's growing a heavy growth of Staph aureus. Um, we would identify the organism from the auger plate. And then we would set up a um, sensitivity. Um, we have we used to use a machine called Microscan, and we would just do that, and then we let the doctor know what um, what, uh, what sensitivity to go. Uh, antibiotics that they would use for the patient. A urine culture. Um, we use a special loop to quantitate urine culture, um, and if they have a, a urinary tract infection, the most common organism for that is E. coli, and here is an example of a panel that we use for microscan. We would make a dilution of that pure organism and we would inoculate each one of these wells and the next day in the machine, the microscan, it actually does um, biochemicals and it gives a reaction that we can, the machine can read. It also has different dilution wells of different um, antibiotics. So that would give the doctor whether or not he, um, the patient would be susceptible or resistant to certain antibiotics and you could let them know what to treat for. Um, the future, and also one important thing we have is a blood culture instrument where uh, if someone is septic, we incubate the blood culture bottles in our Versatrick instrument and uh, that machine monitors that um, bottle uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, we hold them for five days. If something comes up positive, we pull the bottle and then we do what we call a gram stain, and we can tell the doctor um, what um, gram, uh, staph aureus is gram positive coxine clusters. E. coli would be gram negative rods, of course, there's other organisms. Um, and we plate that, incubate it, but we can give the doctor a stat result with the gram stain. Um, the future of micro is PCR technology. 
and this little cartridge here. Um, we have just started testing for the COVID-19. We just validated the machine. The machine here is called Cephia. It's Gene Expert. And they would collect a nasopharyngeal swab from the patient. And we would work under our biohazard hood to keep us safe. We would be wearing gloves, a gown, um, and we would actually not let some of the uh, the liquid specimen into the cartridge and the cartridge onto the machine and it would read in about 15, uh, 50 minutes and this PCR technology um, all of that is happening inside this cartridge um, and they can do many multiple tests with that they can use clostridium difficile C diff, strep, um, there's other tests, um, uh, flu, RSV, that this machine can do. So that's kind of the future of microbiology. Um, but the field of micro is very exciting. There's other things like mycology, uh, parasitology, um, other exciting things that you could um, study. Thank you for letting me speak. Thank you. Okay.